Okay, now, being a conspiracy theorist, Alex Jones makes predictions. A lot of predictions. I'm not bragging, folks. Those of you that listen or have seen the films, you know we predicted this all 100% exactly as it would happen. Okay, so, let's find out. How accurate has Alex Jones been with his predictions? Do, at current trends, the dollar will be worth 10% of what it was in two years. Uh, no doubt in my mind they're planning to stage an inaugural bombing in the next uh, six to seven months, just like 9-11. And there, I mean, you think the worship of Bush with a 92% approval rating after they staged 9-11 was high. Obama will probably be 98% or something. Folks, I'm telling you right now, I'm sure of it. They're going to stage terror attacks soon. I will be very surprised if they don't stage something big by the end of this year. And then it's going to be just full-out federal worship on TV. The terrorists hit us. We're doing what we have to. We're probably in the next few years going to go ahead and have World War III, folks, and, and then people won't say, oh, Alex, don't fear-monger. It's not fear-mongering. It's reality. We're probably in the next few years going to go ahead and have World War III, folks. They are training youth corps. I'd say to be ready in two, three years. They'll be ready. They'll be you know, The guys that are 16 are going to be 18. And they are training to go in and do seek and destroys, to go in buildings. It's in the New York Times. They're definitely going for broke and going for broke soon. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't stage some big terror attacks in the next 60 to 90 days. I'll tell you a while later with Obama's approval rate and plunging. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't stage some big terror attacks in the next 60 to 90 days. Strangely, Alex never did explain his prediction. He spent about 10 seconds saying it as he was about to go to break. Of course, when it never came true, there was never a retraction or an explanation. So in the next 16 months, this is what they're planning right now, they're going to bring in a new total financial collapse. They're going to bring down at least 15 European nations. They're Aha! So at least 15 European nations are going down by the end of June 2012. Wow! Where does Alex get all this great information? Maybe he should tell the EU so they can try and stop it. But I have no doubt they're going to stage big attacks, and if I had to guess, I'd say April 15th or April 19th. And I don't like to put dates on things, but that's a key zone. And one big indicator is, I know Fox, CNN, MSNBC, CNBC, HBO, and others are all producing anti-Tea Party films to air in the middle of April to coincide with their fake terror. But I'm telling you, right now they're planning massive stage terror attacks in the next month. I want you to listen carefully. In the next two years, they're going to devalue your currency by at least 50%. You're so stupid, when the government tells you it's not devalued, you still won't know it's devalued, because they told you so. They're going to have a biological event, whether they claim it was naturally occurring or some terrorist did it, and then only round up a few hundred thousand, a few counting areas somewhere, have a beta test, have the army out, show it on the news, get everybody scared, they'll fix it, and then people will say, oh my gosh, you know, martial law's good, it saved us. Then they'll have another attack that's bigger. It'll kill hundreds of thousands. Then they'll have martial law. It'll get fixed. Then in a few years later, they'll release the big one, and they'll kill probably half the population of the United States. I would imagine we'll hear that Madoff has cancer soon, and that's why they've decided to, you know, for his family and the globalist and the New World Order friends he has, that he'll take the hit for the team. I would imagine we'll hear that Madoff has cancer soon. And I'm not saying I'm smart. I don't understand how I know everything they're going to do. Did you not hear me over and over again say Madoff would soon die of cancer? I said over and over again, and we need to just hire an employee who just marks down my predictions. So, ow, man, I almost broke my hand earlier when I was slamming into the... I just can't do it anymore. Bioweapons releases, terror attacks, they could go for something as big as a low-yield nuclear weapon in a major U.S. or European city. I'm telling you, that's what they've really been priming the subconscious for and programming people in the media. So that's one of the major threats. I would say Chicago, San Francisco, points like that are big targets. New York, Dallas, Cleveland, Denver. Notice how confident he is just reading a long list of cities that are going to be nuked. I mean, where does he get this stuff? It's not like I'm just pulling this out of a hat. Obama's in Russia saying he wants to be big friends with the uh, Russian president, Medvedev. That means he'll probably launch some new sneak attack on South Ossetia. See, if Obama says he wants to be friends with you like he did two months ago or a month and a half ago in Cairo, look out, you're about to be attacked. <laughs> just, just, I mean, whatever he says, it's the opposite. That means he'll probably launch some new sneak attack on South Ossetia. 
So the enemy's going to stage nuclear attacks. They're going to stage flu attacks. They're going to stage World War III type events, wars. They are going to bankrupt everything by design. And that's why I think the establishment, and polls show that, We'll probably release something really deadly in the future. Maybe this fall, this winter, maybe next year, maybe five years from now. Well, look at how they bombed Madrid on 333. Look at 77. Look at all the other bombings. They always do it on weird cryptic numbers because not that we believe in that. It's them that believe in this weird Babylon mystery school. I'd say Obama has two or three, four months when he first gets in till people wake up to that phase of the illusion. So they want to start a big war or a biological release or a financial collapse. They're positioning Hillary Clinton right now. You, I've been telling you that for years, and there's no accident that all these big neocon talk show hosts and pundits are now supporting her. Because the economy in two years, I think, is going to collapse, and we're going to have the Mero, uh, 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 something of their standard. That's, uh, I think they're arrogant because they're planning huge false flag terror attacks, and if you look at their body language and the things they're saying, the last time they said this was before 9-11. And you watch, they're going to stage some terror attack. I can feel it in my bones. Let me tell you something. The government will release a deadly flu if they feel like it and kill your kids deader than a hammer. Now, some of Alex's predictions are bordering on complete racism. If they get their plan fully in, 10 years after the plan's fully in place, say five years from now, so that's 15 years, you'll probably have about 150 million people in the country. And they're going to repopulate the U.S. with Latin Americans. I mean, I'm not joking around here, okay? They're going to kill most of you listening. And they're going to repopulate the U.S. with Latin Americans. I think they're going to stage terror attacks. I can just yeah. feel it in my gut. Twelve days later, Alex recalls just how precise his predictions have been. I kept saying week after week, the last few months, I said they're going to launch a major stage terror attack, a nuke attack, a new war, or a bird flu of some type. You have to first understand how the globalists operate, how they believe that they must reveal their plans to the public before they do it. Because it's their religion. It's called lesser magic. They have to do the ritual first in front of you in a smaller way, like a model of it. They believe to successfully carry it out. I think they're going to continue to bankrupt the world economy by design, not because I'm making a prediction, but because the enemy admits what they're doing. Now, in the last three months, I've been warning people that Obama's controllers are going to stage events. Where are we headed? God is going to be removed from our money. We're going to see more attacks on God. And when I say God, I'm talking about Christians. Government-insured bonds are going to be gone. Gold is going to skyrocket if you can get it. We're going to see more mass killings because it serves their purpose. They encourage it because they want to take our guns. You'll see Israel nuked. That'll give us uh, more reason to go back into the Mideast even stronger. Obama's ratings fall back to earth. He's gone from 84 to below 50 and plunging quickly, a percentage point per week or more. We've never seen a plunge this fast. Looks like he'll probably stage some terror attacks. So this is what's going to happen. The government's going to take everything most of you've got. And whether aliens are real or not, the United Nations, another big Rothschild, the, the federal government, all these astronauts coming out, moonwalkers talking about flying saucers, they are getting people ready for extraterrestrial life to be announced. And I don't know if it's this month or five years from now, but they're getting ready with that, too. The mainstream media has legitimized extraterrestrial life and is basically saying we are being visited, something is going on. Now, of course, the media has never ever talked about aliens before. We don't have long. They're going to shut the web down in the next two years on their current timeline. We're going to fight that as well. But look, we got time to smash these bastards right now if you'll simply engage them. Now notice he says they're going to shut down the internet in two years unless we stop them. So see, every time a prediction doesn't happen, Alex Jones can claim it was because he stopped it by warning people. Because you see, Alex Jones is always so careful and so accurate with his predictions that when Alex Jones makes a prediction, you know he's serious. And I'm telling you, the only threat from Obama is a massive stage terror attack. And because of 9-11 truth, exposing government-sponsored terrorism, he may not be able to carry it out. And, and if we get the word out what they're doing, they may back off. Now, of course, Alex Jones never hypes things up. When he says something serious is about to happen, he means it. And this next three, four months is the most important time in history up until this point. It'll probably just get more serious after that. It'll probably just get more serious after that. That uh, they're gearing up for another war. I think right after the election, they're going to go for a draft. He's talking about bank runs by, ne what, next February? Yes, we see them happening by February. 
So as we're looking at this terror strike, or the aborted one, we're looking for 9-11 magnitude terror strikes in 2010. Now, they've already stolen 60% of the pension funds. In a couple months, it's all going to be gone, dumbasses. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm talking to those out there that don't believe me. It's all going to be too late, you stupid freaks. Well, today it's pretty much going to be, I, I give it a 48 hours until Citigroup folds. So they're gauging right now uh, to stage an assassination on Obama to get his approval ratings up. And I believe he's probably involved in it. Nine to 12 months from now, and here it is, based on what this gentleman told me, the, the man who called me and said everything that goes on behind closed doors, he knows what it is. Nine to 12 months from now, you are going to see a total collapse of the American dollar, Alex. Plus, you judge a tree by its fruits. Lindsey Williams has always been right. Right about how they've got all that oil capped up in Alaska. Right about how oil was going to go down by $100 a barrel. Right about everything. Judge a tree by its fruits. Nine to 12 months from now, you are going to see a total collapse of the American dollar, Alex. Vladimir Putin, uh, who is known as Vladimir the Ruthless, and using all his profanity on national TV, you name it, we won't read the profanity here, uh, but we've got it. Uh, this person is on an unbelievable power trip and resembles a demon. The war in Chechnya is raging in Grozny with, well, reports of hundreds of thousands dying, uh, 20 to 40,000 civilians trapped in the city, Russian hinds are being shot down, tanks are being blown to bits, uh, massive uh, Grod, unguided rocket attacks are being launched on the city indiscriminately right now, air and artillery bombardments as well. Uh, it's absolutely out of control. It is pandemic, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll give you the news first on Y2K and the things I'm experiencing here in Austin, Texas. The shelves are empty of water and some gas stations are running out of fuel. Uh, here in Central Texas uh, and in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the shortwave is basically down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, went off right as I went on the air. The big news on Y2K. Then we'll start going to your calls. As the developments uh, move forward with this Y2K and this gear up for uh, clamping down in America and Russia and around the world by my globalist forces will be bringing you the news as long as we're here on the air. I know they're threatening to nuke us every single week. I've read the Associated Press, Reuters, Interfax News Agency, London Times articles here. I mean, and the same thing is starting to develop here in America. Uh, I've, many of the gas stations here in Austin have the little uh, gloves over the pumps saying they're out of fuel. You n never see this in Austin, Texas. Right here in South Austin, I've seen several stations. Uh, we don't know. This is just a Y2K that was here. They are, the military traffic is everywhere right now, ladies and gentlemen.